Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking a quick look at animation curves in Unreal Engine. And the reason I'm doing this is that I tried following along with this tutorial online that is kind of long, actually, called Animation Curves, because it has a lot of utility. There's a lot to it. But one of the things you can do is just animate using the animation sequencer and curves. You can animate even material objects and things. So it has a lot of utility. It's an alternative to using the sequencer, actually. But unfortunately, some of this is out of date. And if you try to follow this, you're not going to be able to find certain things like this. This doesn't exist anymore. So anyway, let's jump into Unreal Engine and get started real quick. All we do need is an animation. So I'm going to come into Characters, go into Mannequins, go into Animations, go into Quinn. It just takes a minute to skin, I guess, this asset. And I, it's funny, I don't remember that taking so long before. Anyway, I'm going to drag her onto the scene. Left at F and get down here. Slow down the camera a little bit. And there she is. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click into this animation sequence. And here we go. Now there's several compartments to this. There's a skeleton here. There's a static mesh that we can edit. There's our animation sequence. And that's the blueprint to Manny, which is the parent. But primarily what we want to do is add a curve. You would think you could just click here and you can add a curve but you can't make a curve. So it would seem like you'd be able to do it from here, but you, you have to go to the skeleton here. And then you'll see where it says add curve. Then just go ahead and click it. And you have to give it the exact name of the material parameter that you're gonna be changing. And so I know that it's called logo size. So I'm just gonna type that in L-O-G-S-I-Z. S-I-Z-E and go enter. And now I've created that curve. Now I should be able to search for it now, logo two, since I've created it. And I just need to check there to activate the material that I wanna edit and stuff like that. I'm gonna hit save and jump back into the animation sequence. Okay, now that we've added that curve, we can come over here and add it here and it's right there. And this part is pretty intuitive because you see it right there on the timeline. First thing, let me stop that from moving. To edit the any curve, you just have to right click and go edit selected curve and it takes you into here. And this is just worth exploring. Some of this is pretty intuitive. One thing you might want to press is this because then it puts a buffer zone on each side and then we can animate. And to get started with this, all you have to do is actually just hit the middle mouse button click along and you can add your keyframes in there. We're just going to add a few in here. We're not going to get too carried away. And I want to show you something else that you can do. There's a lot to learn about this tool. If you hold down, I believe you can marquee select. And then um, you don't even have to hold down shift. And then if you right click, you can add so that you can modify things. I'm going to deselect now. But I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. And now we've got a nice smooth curve. Okay, now it's worth noting this control up here. If you'll notice, it gives us a preview of what we're going to see. So if I click this, I can click and drag this weight. And you see how I can almost turn it into a vest, which is actually a pretty cool effect. But we can just leave this at doesn't really matter what we put it at, but if I uncheck that box and I come to the beginning and hit play, you'll see the values changing as it goes. So that's kind of cool. So now we've modified our animation and all we have to do if we want is we just come here to create asset, create animation, current animation, and go preview mesh. And then you can create a brand new animation sequence with that curve added to it. And that's all you need to know to get started with the animation curves in Unreal Engine. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.